basically today's lesson is based on me giving you feedback on your assignments. So you're all going to be getting your grades back for the task two on gender stereotyping. And what I'm going to do is talk to you about that as a class first so that you can I understand the progress that you've made, where we're going. And then at the end of this talk, Penny's going to take over and teach. And I'm going to call you up individually and explain, you know, your grade and your feedback. Sevasti Redwood is one of my pre-service teachers this year. She came here in term two and we decided that child studies was a suitable subject for Sevasti to teach because of her psychology major. I gave her the opportunity in this practicum to write a unit from scratch. I said to her, is there anything that you would like to do? Is there, have, do you have any ideas? In my spare time, I started looking at resources and, and ideas as to, you know, what are the new themes and current themes and issues relevant to child studies. I started looking at the idea of gender stereotypes and toys and children's toys and marketing. And to me, I thought, this is something they've all had exposure to. They've all grown up with toys. They've all grown up with media. The media is always around them. Um, there's going to be a practical element that they're going to be able to work on, but there's also going to be a link back to the real world outside of the classroom. Has anyone taken any of that information and used it? Has it influenced your thinking in any way after doing that task? Yes? yes? When you watch ads now? So, so what ads in particular? So when, you, so when you see the toy ads now on TV, do you start thinking about what we've learnt in class and realising that they are gender stereotyped? Yep. Any specific um, stereotypes that, you, that really stand out? I wanted them to just basically start thinking critically about the things that are around them. And some of them have given me feedback such as, oh miss, I've never thought about this stuff before. So that was quite, um, that was quite a positive thing. The experience of designing my own unit of work has impacted my teaching in a positive way and also I think it allowed me to, um, to, to learn and develop my understanding of the role of an educator or of a teacher. And it's helped me to understand that teaching is not, um, it's not all about the classroom. A lot of the planning that goes into the teaching happens outside of the classroom and obviously without that planning it's just not going to um, produce the, the quality of, um, of learning for the students. The other thing that um, designing the unit of work taught me was that it's not just about the single unit. Um, you have to consider the prior learning, where students need and want to be in the future, and how the um, entire learning experience is going to flow across you know, either the period of learning, such as the term or the semester.